Hi guys, it's Pastor Tim, lead pastor at City Church of the Treasure Coast. Thank you for joining me tonight and every night for Seven on the Seven, our nightly time of encouragement, our nightly time together of jumping into God's Word during a time that is uncertain, a time of trouble, a time of anxiety, worry, and yes, even death. We are able to come and get together and let God's love, God's joy, God's peace overcome the darkness. Now, I want you to look with me at Psalm chapter 16. There's an amazing verse here that says in verse 8, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. And I want to declare into your life tonight that no matter how much this world is moving, no matter how big the waves are, no matter how tough things get, that the Lord himself will hold us and keep us from being shaken tonight. Now, we've been looking at the story of Elijah and we've come all the way around from Elijah declaring a drought to God providing for him during the drought to now he's getting ready to find a way out from the drought. And so the last time we got together, we said that the time of preparation leads to a time of presentation. And so here is Elijah. He's on his way to the presentation. And I want you to write this down today. This is really important. I overcome by facing the enemy in God's timing. I overcome by facing the enemy, but I have to do it in God's timing timing. We need patience today. We need to do what Psalm 27, 14 says, wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart and wait for the Lord. And so here comes Elijah to give the presentation. He's going to go to that bad, bad mama. There goes that man, that bad, bad king, King Ahab. It's interesting on the way he runs into this guy named Obadiah. And I want you to I want you to get in your Bible and study Obadiah. He's a, he's a secret agent, man, a double agent. It's very, very interesting. But I want to come back to this idea of facing the enemy in God's timing. Romans chapter 5, verse 6, it says this. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. At the right time when we were powerless, Jesus died for us. You know, this is what I love. It's an old saying. Some of you have heard it. Some of you haven't. God is never late. God is never early. God is always right on time. Even the chance meeting with Obadiah was God's perfect timing, the perfect timing that God had for his life. Now, let's, let's get back to verse 17 here in 1 Kings where we look at what happens um, I believe we're in chapter 18. What happens when Ahab sees Elijah? Here's, here we are, verse 17. When he saw Elijah, he said to him, Is that you, you troubler of Israel? You know, my wife and I, we uh, took a trip to Ireland uh, for our anniversary several years ago. And in Ireland, they have a festival where they crown a goat king. And I want you to know, um, this guy, this King Ahab, He's worse than having a goat for your king. You know, have you ever had somebody call you the name that in actuality they should have tattooed on their forehead? This is what it's like. Have you ever been called a liar by a liar? This is what it's like for King Ahab to say to Elijah that Elijah is the troubler, the persecutor, the attacker of Israel. Verse 18, Elijah responds. Never late, never early, always right on time. I have not made trouble for Israel, Elijah replied, but you and your father's family have. You have abandoned the Lord's commands and have followed the Baals. King Ahab's the one that's chosen idols. He's the one that's brought trouble on this country. I'm saying hashtag truth, baby, with what Elijah just said. I mean, it's settled, sealed, signed, delivered. It's done. Ahab does this. He attacks like the enemy always does. This virus is an attack from the enemy, from the devil. But the enemy attacks with lies. The devil's the king of lies. Um, but Elijah stays focused on the truth. So tonight, for us to have that perfect timing to attack the enemy, to make the presentation, we've got to stay in the truth. God's word says, sanctify them by the truth. Your word is is truth. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He is truth. Stay in Christ. 
stay in God's word. When you come against the enemy, make sure that when you make your presentation that you're standing in the truth. And we can overcome this virus. We can overcome the waves that are coming of depression, of hurt, of loss by standing in the truth. I'm in God's perfect timing when I face the enemy, when I am in the truth, the truth of God's word. And so I want you to know tonight we should have no agenda throughout this time other than to see the truth of God's love, the truth of God's word shine in our community. And so tonight I want to pray with you. I want to pray that the truth will set us free. I want to pray that God's truth and God's love and God's healing will flow. I don't know exactly what you're facing tonight, but I know that God knows and we can connect right here at seven on the seven. We can connect tonight right on this live stream platform. Will you stretch out your hand with me? I want to pray with you tonight. Lord Jesus, tonight, I ask that your truth would set us free. I ask that the truth would be revealed of how to overcome COVID-19. I ask that the truth in the lives of our families, our men and our women and our children would come to light, Lord, the truth that we need you to be first place in our life. And tonight, Lord, in that truth, tonight is the right time we declare, Lord. We don't care what the enemy has called us, what the enemy accuses us of. You have raised up a standard, a defense, You've raised up a vaccine tonight against the enemy's attacks. And so the truth is this, Lord. We know that you are love. We know that you are the only way to be set free. And I ask, Lord, that your freedom, your love, your healing would flow tonight right through this broadcast, Lord, into the hearts of men and women all over this world. Lord, I declare it. I believe for it. You're never late. You're never early. You're always right on time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight for seven on the seven. We're going to continue to look at Elijah next time I get together with you. We'll have some other special guests this week, but I want you to remember this. God loves you so much. You are not alone. We love you. We're looking out for you. We can't wait till the day that we come back together to be there in person. And I want to ask you to do something for me tonight. If you could head over to citychurchtreasurecoast.com and give a gift of any size, $20, $50 or more. It would make all the difference in this ministry's life. If you've been touched tonight or you want to help us to touch this world, your financial giving is critical. And so remember, we're looking out for you. We love you. God loves you even more. God bless you.